Good morning. Welcome to our craft time. Um, let me, we are going to be making two different crafts today. Um, and these are going to be from our um, summer reading club bags um, that are at the library. Um, and so I'm going to kind of go over the bags real quick in case um, you guys were unsure of what was going on in, in them or um, if you were afraid something was missing. And so I'm going to go through those real quick. Um, so in both the bags, we actually have children, teens, and adults. And in the children's ones, you'll find a list like this. Um, and the it has a description in there of the different items. So there's like coloring pages, bookmarks. Um, and if you've done this in Reading Club before, we have like a charm bracelet and little charms on there. And so you'll find that in there. Um, there's glow sticks, and then there's different craft materials. And if you see, it lists next to them what is inside each of them. Um, and then for the teen ones, it's very similar. It lists off the stuff. Um, and some of the stuff, especially the Alice in Wonderland stuff for the teens, is going to be um, used later on next month. Um, good morning, Mason. Um, and if for some reason you don't see something in the bag that's listed, that's either because um, we ran out of those items or because I got distracted when I was putting them together because Maverick was trying to lick everything. So um, if there's something you think you should have, let us know. It may just be that we ran out of it. So, um, all right. And if you guys hear another voice, it's my my husband. I haven't had to say that yet. Um, he's also a meeting from home too. So I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, so our first one we're going to do is our kids craft. Um, hi, Charlie. Um, and this one is we're going to do an alligator puppet. So you should have found a paper in um, your bag that had this on it. And so I colored mine. Um, there's lines on it to fold because you can also make a headband out of it, which is the cutest thing. That's totally an option. Um, but we're going to do, so you can do that, or I'll show you how to do a paper bag puppet. Um, you can do it, and there should have been a paper bag in there as well. Um, you can attach it right here. Um, and so you can flip it and it'll look like it's opening its mouth. Um, that's what I had originally planned to do, but then I was kind of brainstorming this morning and I thought of another idea. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I feel like we're being super loud. Um, you can also, I'm going to try to hold this. I kind of cut one side of the bag and folded it over so it looks like that. And then you can attach your alligator like that if you wanted to fold it and make it seem like it's eating stuff. And then that way, kind of like if you saw, her, um, there was an old lady um, puppet the other day, you could add stuff to her mouth. That's kind of like what this is. It's just a little bit more fun because he has sharp, scary teeth. Um, and so you can do that. And then I also, if you guys know the five little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Um, that's where you could do that rhyme and then draw little monkeys. I'm sorry, those are terrible. I drew them on the back of an envelope and cut them out like five minutes ago. So, um, but you can do that and then sing that rhyme and have them empty, um, put the little monkeys in there once they get caught by the alligator. Um, or if you just want to do another fun game and have them pretend like the alligator's eating them, um, that's what you can do. I'm hoping you guys can see that. So that's a couple diff different options. You have three different options for this one, which is really nice. I'm reading your comments, guys. Yes, I can post, um, I'll attach... Um, a picture of that lit those lists onto this post so you guys can see it um, and that way too if you don't want to go pick up a goodie bag I tried to do some stuff that would be things you already had at home anyway um, and so if for some reason you can't pick up a bag or you don't um, or there's something missing hopefully you can still do those crafts at home um, so I will t attach those pictures good morning Landon and Logan all right, and then our next one is for our teen craft, and this one is we're going to be doing the clothespin craft. Um, we've actually done this one. I did this one at the high school one day for crafts, and I think we had it out to do with the teens um, sometime a month or two ago, but then everything got canceled. So um, this one's really easy, so I don't have a lot of tutorial for this one, but um, in your bag, I think you guys have um, really pretty ones, um, but you just take the clothespin attach the magnetic strip to the back. Sometimes they're, the magnetic strips I find are either super great or kind of terrible and so if you need to add glue to it you can definitely do that too. I think I did that for some. But you do that and then I added washi tape. I wasn't able 
to include washi tape and all your guys' things. It would have been kind of crazy to do that. I don't know how I would have done that, but um, you can add washi tape if you have cute little like jewels or um, or if you wanted to just put paper on there and decorate the paper and then glue it on there, you can. And it makes really cute clothespins. Um, so here's one I did with just a wooden one. Um, and you can attach those to your fridge and then hang stuff. I don't know if people do that anymore. Um, hang, that, hang that on your fridge to just hold pictures or um, whatever you guys have. Or if you're wanting a cute decoration for your room, um, you can always make a bunch of these and then find cute string or something. Um, and hang that on your wall and then have the little clothespins um, and hang them along on your wall and you can hang pictures or um, any art you drew or anything like that. Um, so that's, you can do kind of two options with that. Um, and it's always fun if you can find cute washi tape um, or duct tape. Um, and then also, um, you can also just decorate cute little um, like cut out pieces of paper and washi tape to them and then you can make your own um, greeting cards or just like a cute little card or inspirational message and you can hang those um, you can even hang them in your bathroom too if there's like something like an inspirational thing you want to see every day you can do that too so um, all right I think that's all the crafts I have you guys um, so I will attach a um, the pictures on there of the list of items if you guys have any questions please write in the comments I'll stay on for a second to answer those if you guys have any comments um, but if you can go pick up the summer reading goodie bags, um, it just like kind of, I know it's a step to go get it, but it helps you not have to gather all the craft materials. Um, and I will tell you guys, we are doing, um, getting the June summer reading club bags ready. Um, we're going to assemble those soon. So those should be ready. Um, hopefully June 1st, you guys can pick those up maybe even before then. I don't know, but, um, I think that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching our craft video. Again, if you have questions or comments, um, please put those in the post, um, and I will answer those. So thank you, guys. That's all I have for you today. And please, if you have any, um, if you make any other crafts, please share them with us so we can see your cute little alligators and clothespin creation. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, a great time to pick up the goodie bags anytime we're open. They should be out in the library for you. Um, in kind of little boxes separated by what age group they're for, and you can just grab any, grab them anytime we're open. That way you're not having to come into the library if you don't want to. Let's see. Great. I hope you guys enjoy those. Um, I will tell you the May ones, I was kind of scrambling and putting those together kind of last minute. Um, but hopefully the June ones work out pretty good too, so. All right. You don't need a library card to pick up the goodie bags. Those are, you just walk in, grab them, and go walk out. Pretty easy. And if there's um, either with a video or a craft or something you guys um, tutorial you want to see, please add that in the comments in, in any of our videos. Um, I've been doing this for seven or eight weeks now and so I'm kind of just doing my thing but if there's something you guys are interested in um, as far as like story time ideas or crafts that you want to see us do or if there's just like a virtual program that you're like my kid misses this from the library and there's a way we can do it virtually I would love to do that so um, just be thinking about that and share that with me anytime so all right I think maybe that's all the comments you guys have again you can add those anytime and I'll see, reply to those later. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for story time at 10 a.m. Bye.